Welcome to another exclusive review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz. We just hit 60 million minutes viewed on YouTube. We're the number one reviewer of theatre in the UK and Las Vegas. And this week we're in Milton Keynes at the Milton Keynes Theatre for Aladdin, starring Joe Pasquale and Lee Mead. This is a perfect pantomime. It has the ideal mix of comedy, drama and shtick that we all look forward to. Oh yes, he is. Oh no, he isn't. He's behind you. It's all in this panto. Not necessarily a guarantee with a lot of these big city pantomimes. It's been directed perfectly by Johnny Bowles, who has put together a stunning light and sound show. Some might argue the show is too loud in places, but there's no doubting this is an immersive theatre experience. From the second you walk in the theatre, you're enchanted by the stage. This is a beautiful set by Kudos. With sound by Richard Brooker and lighting by Alex Marshall, this is a masterclass in staging and entertainment. Add into that an all-stellar cast and you have got a magical mix of pantomime. The show is naturally driven by Joe Pasquale, who is quite remarkable. He's a one-man band. Let's face it, with no show he would be entertaining, so it's a thrill to see this master craftsman of comedy and variety working his audience in pantomime at the MK Theatre. The unfortunate soul that has to work with him is Lee Mead, who is given a tough time through this production through Pasquale's non-stop antics. He takes it on the chin. What's amazing about Lee Mead is his voice. It's a God-given gift. It's unsurprising that we get a bit of Joseph in this, as he is possibly, vocally, the best Joseph there has ever been, in my opinion. A beautiful spirit on stage and a gorgeous voice. What a shame he's not better looking. This show would be wonderful if it stopped at Joe and Lee, but it doesn't. There are two elements to this show which are really fantastic. David Robbins as Twanky is hugely impressive on two levels. His presence is intoxicating. His costumes are simply delicious. I mean, this man has assets and we get to see, sorry, this lady has assets and we get to see Twanky's greatest hits through his divine costumes throughout this performance. A true masterclass. Clearly a man who not only loves the art of pantomime, but has mastered costume, performance, wigs and makeup too. Congratulations, David. Phil Corbett is an incredible baddie as Abanaza in this. His voice is just so compelling. He has the perfect balance of baddie knowing at the same time as delivering the part with pure class. It's perfectly pitched and beautifully lit as well. That's so important to get that right. So it's scary for the kids, but not too scary that they don't want to sit through the rest of the show. This really was a masterclass in all of that. Two lovely voices was Tegan Bannister and the quite brilliant Sarah Earnshaw, who is perfectly cast as she's worked with Joe Pasquale for years and knows exactly what she's in for. Let's just talk a little bit more about Joe. I mean, this guy is a variety star of the highest order. He gives 100%. He makes it look like he 100% wants to be there and delivers each show like it's his first and his last. That is so rare in Panto and so inspiring to see on this huge stage. And you forget how big the MK Theatre is. We're talking 1,500 plus seats. He fills the room with his pure personality. In fact, some of the funniest moments are him just had living with the kids. He's a natural, and that's what makes this pantomime so perfect. Having said that, he drives the story brilliantly and brings great heart to what could be just another cut-and-paste pantomime. Johnny Bowles goes to great lengths on everything. He's clear that this man has an eye as a director to get the best out of his cast, but also the best out of the set, lighting and sound that he has. The orchestra and orchestrations of this show are quite lovely. The underscoring is beautiful in places too. Sound, although a little overwhelming at time, is used so brilliantly throughout, and the kids just loved the flying carpet, which of course is the kudos magic that you can only get at this standard and ticket price of pantomime. As pantomimes go, this ticks every box. You have the silliness, the campness, the variety, Twankies knockers, a brilliant baddie, an hysterical dame, and two great stars. Lee Mead sings like a bird, and Joe Pasquale drives it with pure energy and comedic brilliance. Congratulations to the whole team at the MK Theatre, performing until the 12th of January. Aladdin. Don't miss this five-star panto in Milton Keynes. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da.